Dead Space 3, we're on hardcore mode, chapter 3, double A, Gamer for Life, Demented Priest. Okay, so in the previous video, it's very beginning part as far as uh, the walkthrough is the mission, and then a very lengthy part about the resources, weapons, and all that. But anyway, now uh, me and Demented Priest are really uh, geared up and we're ready to get into this level. And uh, Chapter 3 is not a very long level either. Uh, once we get into Chapter 4, we're basically uh, working our way back through this ship and then uh, hitting the optional missions as well. So uh, Chapter 4 is one of the lengthy ones and probably one of the biggest ones for uh, collectibles. So it's a little bit on the ridiculous side. I don't know if it was uh, some kind of glitch with the game, but basically... Uh, like the collectibles in chapter 7 or ch at basically in chapter 4. I don't know. Anyway, we got full collectible videos on Dead Space 3. So if you're just interested in collectibles, just check out those videos. This is about the walkthrough on hardcore mode. So we're finally getting into some action here. You can see my buddy popping away with a shotgun. Hey guys, we're in trouble. What is it? What's going on? I just got jumped by what's left of the crew. And again, uh, any Nobody of the hardcore down videos down. Well, at the very end of the, the video, there's a little bit of a clip on how what to save the game do? using the drive. So just follow those close. steps and it'll Except make your life lips. on hardcore that. all that much easier. I and uh, a lot no more uh, stress-free too. So uh, you can actually play hardcore mode without uh, worrying about dying. So... There's one thing uh, I hate is that, you know, they got a mode or something that just makes doing it, you know, just not worth it to you. In Dead Space 2, I just decided it wasn't worth my time to, to play hardcore mode. Uh, really, you know, by the time I did it, I played through it uh, two, three times already. And I just wasn't in, into taking the time to play it on uh, hardcore mode given that it only gave you three uh, saves for the whole game and uh, it was just something I wasn't willing to do but with this game with the auto save the way it's set up uh, doing hardcore mode is very doable so uh, just follow those steps and enjoy the game obviously if you got a co-op partner that makes your life a lot easier and then it's totally up to you whether or not to do the optional, uh, optional side quest as well you don't have to uh, we do them because there's artifacts in there, and uh, you will get 100% of some of the artifacts, but if you do all the optional missions, you'll get all the artifacts. So by the end of Chapter 14, when you get your 100% uh, of all your artifacts, you get your 3 plus 3 circuits, and uh, you know, needless to say, that's very helpful. Oh yeah, the shotgun has got some punch to it, no question about it. Get your circuit and move on. Oh, they're coming out of the woodwork. Fire! Fire! I where the hell are you? Almost to the crossover tube. They just keep coming! Sir, we're running low on ammo! Make a barricade! Just keep them out a little longer.
Okay, when we get close to the fan here, that's going to trigger a little cutscene and get the little squigglies, as my partner would call them. Grab your text log and any loot around here and then move on. Norton, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. All right, I think that's holding them for now. Good. The SOS is coming from directly above me. And it looks like I found the ship's primary generator. If I can get power going, All right. it should have a lot of thing for down. You. I right, let him you? do a little twisty uh, there's part. There's an elevator here that goes straight up the spire. I'll meet you at Ellie's coordinates. <laughs> I have a, any issue. The enemies uh, seem to go down without too much difficulty, you know, especially with these upgraded weapons we got going on here. Again, the hardcore is all about if you die, you got to go back to the beginning of the game. And uh, I don't know, I just like, uh, I think it's kind of on the ridiculous side. It's just too easy for something to happen that you could possibly die and uh, to go all the way back to the beginning. I just don't think that's uh, you know the way it should be, but the developers actually have different views on it than I do. But luckily with the little zip drive trick, uh, you don't really have to sweat that. If you do die, you just go into your hard drive and delete this uh, save spot and then move your save game from your zip drive back to your hard drive and you are good to go. At least all you have to do is go back to your uh, beginning part of the chapter, which I definitely recommend that you do at the beginning of every chapter. Uh, go to your uh, dashboard and save it to a zip drive. Or at any time that you feel like you're getting into a big battle and you might feel like you may die, so stop at that point, save it to your zip drive. See that thing just hey, bounce here over here? The crossover oh, yeah, just I saw opened it. up. You want it. Rosen, lock, you stay put. Isaac Carver will rendezvous with the spire. Got it.
Okay, time to head up the ladder. Elevator. Excuse me. Okay, once we get to the room up there, it's going to activate the cutscene, and that's going to end Chapter 3 and start Chapter 4. my girl you're kissing on there, buddy. It's over to die. <laughs> Captain, is this him? Oh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's him. I say, Clark, great to meet you. Austin Buckle, Marker Ops. Uh, this here is Jennifer Santos, our little lady with a big brain. If it's true you can decipher the Marker script, this mission might still have a chance. Isaac, thank you for coming. Like I had a choice. I know, I'm sorry. But I have so much to tell you. Oh, Mario, come on. We have to get, get out of here now. No, not yet. Isaac, we need to stop the marker. The trail ends at the Admiral's quarters. She'd written marker score all over the walls. The answers are in there. I know it. We cannot leave until we know what it says. Yeah, well, then let Isaac handle the translating. We're leaving now. I got Buckle, you get Santos. Let's go. Oh. Go on. Take care of your crew. Okay, so that's going to wrap up order. Chapter 3. As soon as they take off, that starts chapter four. And we got some general loot and a circuit to pick up in here. And we'll pick up on the next video. Don't warn me about Ellie and the captain. No one cares about your love life. Okay, hardcore on Dead Space 3. Best thing to do is to save the game to a zip drive at the end of every chapter or any place that you think you may die. Uh, you want to just go back to the dashboard, go under si system settings, to storage, go to your hard drive, go under the game, Dead Space 3, you'll see the slot for hardcore and just save it over to the zip drive. Now, if you happen to die, what you do is you go back to the dashboard, you go into your hard drive, and you delete that one save spot, and then go to your zip drive and copy it back to your hard drive, and then you're golden. So basically what you're seeing here is to save it to your zip drive. If you do die, you just reverse the process to put the game back on your hard drive, and you're good. So uh, don't sweat the hardcore. Just follow this step, and if you die, just do that.